Whoever makes the rotation first will win. Luckily, she just fell and I'm basically standing here. So it's over. Okay, so we're gonna do defense um, to the truck or escaping the truck, flipping the truck, uh, getting out of the twister, some of that stuff today. I'm gonna have Lindsay teach flipping the truck because she's better at it than me. So, and she knows how to actually teach people. So you come and do that. Please, please my love. Okay, so sometimes, well, not really this month, but I usually bait the, the truck. So just like we're going into the drill and he's lacing up my legs. I'm already anticipating it, okay? So I go ahead and, like I said, I bait the, the truck. So I'm giving him my leg. Now I wanna go ahead and grab the far hip. So just like we do after the calf crank, we grab the far hip and we go ahead and spin it into the, into the flip. I wanna go ahead and flip it into transition. So I'm not waiting for Brandon to get his position set and him to calf crank me and then tap and then flip it, okay? So I wanna do it before he gets his position set in. So I'm going ahead and grabbing this uh, far hip. Okay, so go ahead and lace it up. All right. And so as he turns, I'm going ahead and like I said, I already got my hand here. I'm going for the knee. So go ahead and roll over your shoulder here. So I'm going for the knee and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it as he's in the roll and catch it when he lands. Okay, so let's do that again. So you want me to lace it entirely? Yeah, go ahead and lace, lace it. it all the way. Yeah. She's like, yeah, whatever, do whatever okay. you want. So again, so you're grabbing, so you have to get your hand free. So if you're doing that Gordon pass and he's got it captured, you're gonna have to, while he's lacing everything up, and he's, um, you know, let your hand go after the twister pass, so go ahead and get your arm free, your top arm free, and grab this top hip, okay? So yeah, go ahead. And then my bottom hand is gonna go to this bottom knee. All right, go ahead. And then I flip it in the roll. One more time again. One more time. So go ahead and let them have the leg. Top arm grabs the top hip. Bottom arm is going to go to the bottom knee. Figure four, go ahead and lace up the banana split. All right, you guys got it? Ready, one, two, three. So I'm trying to go down to the bend of his knee with my, with my hoop right there. Okay. If he won't allow that, then I shouldn't be doing the banana split. I should be doing the crotch trimmer. Right? So if he won't bring his knee up enough for me to do that, then it's time to pull his knee the other way for the crotch trimmer. Make sense? So if you're doing that, you're No, just if, uh, if you go to this and it's like, oh, that's not quite right, then change it. Even in the drill. Yeah. So from here. Yeah, so when you do it, here, look. Let me just put you here. Yes, sir. Right here. So bring this knee to your face. That's the time when I should be hitting the banana split. If he doesn't like that pressure, then he's, then I shouldn't be. Like, so if, if we're just here, I shouldn't even be trying the banana split. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, the easiest thing to do would be to pull your leg this way. It's like a crotch trick. If you don't like that, so you pull your, You see what I'm saying? That's how you get the chain going. But you gotta let him take the first the you're, first you're movement. Really, yeah. You're depending on what he's doing. Kinda always. Always. K kinda always. There's never always. <laughs> so now as she plays the position, whether it's in the twister pass or twister side control she allows this bottom knee to come off the ground. So she starts trying to drive this bottom knee through while she laces it up. I allow, I want her to do this. 
I want her to make this mistake. So like, uh, this really happens when people are, are getting greedy for it. Like when I'm kind of hiding it a little bit, their bottom knee will make a mistake here and try to get on the inside, right? So start lacing it up now. From there, I want her to lace it up. I want her to get deep on this thing now. But watch my bottom knee. Go, go back just a little bit. When she puts her knee on the inside and starts to lace it, I let her commit to it. I, I act like I don't want her to do this. But as I fight with this one, I slide this one just a little deeper so that she can't rewind anymore. You see that? Right here, she can still rewind. Yes. Rewind. That's it. Her motion to rewind is what turns the twister on her. And I just sit her right there in my lap. And it's done. So that, that's a really, you see why that's such a huge mistake for the top player? Is the motion for me to flip this and like end the match is super subtle. It's like you don't even realize it's happening if you're not aware of that knee positioning. So you're really fighting me to lace it up. And I'm like, oh no. And I steal it. I steal the real estate right there. Take your leg back. Even now, I can just aggressively take it from you. You guys see that? It's all about, all about sealing this space back. And now even if you're like, oh, no, 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 I'm not lacing it up no more. Well, that's okay. I'm lacing it up now. See how I hook it? And I drag myself out. That's the motion. I'm trying to get her hips from this side of my body to this side of my body right here. So I pull her down this way, and I drag my hip that way with my foot. Just a little adjustment right there, and we're right into it. And if she didn't see it coming, she may have just left her arm hanging out right there. And that's real good news when that happens. Okay, you guys understand? Yes. Sorry, question. Can, for the person on top to do this to the right, what is that passing that they need to do again? Yeah, let me let you feel it, actually. So if, you, if, if this person does their job well, this won't be available, okay. right? So this is a countering a, a ultra, probably the most common mistake okay. in this position is to let this knee come off the ground a little bit while you're trying to lace it off. That's it. That's all it takes. Okay. So that's the mistake I make. Let's yes, that's a big mistake there. Hmm. The Barracuda understands. <laughs> oh, Barracuda understands. <laughs> all right, ready? One, two, three. Come on in here. Now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite moves in jujitsu. This is a very sneaky move. My love. Twister pass, please. So she gets into her game. I'm not gonna let you have my wrist, you turd. You're gonna have to just slide into it some other way. Okay. Oh no, I'm in the twister pass. This is a really bad position. There's really not a good guard to play against this thing. Uh, if she does a good job and I try to put in a butterfly hook, I'm getting passed. She does a good job and I try to lock down. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what lock down? Um, I make a mistake right here and try to get too aggressive. I get Kimura. I get Kimura. I, you know, she has to do her job right. But once she does it, once she settles in and understands this position, this is bad. Right? I'm probably going to get passed. I would, if I was in this position, I would expect to pass 100% of the time. Right? So, but... From the bottom position, I don't believe in any of it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Oh, all right, uh, pass here. As she starts to pass, oh God, I'm stuck. Look, I'm framing that hip and I switch it. That's the key move, right? So look how I open my legs up so that she will pass. But I don't do that until I get this elbow on the inside right here. And now I'll let her pass and I'll show it to her. And as all of this happens, I pop up on this elbow. From here, I just turn my knees to the ground like I'm going to do a technical stand-up right here. And I slide my knee through that hole. No, no, keep your pressure on. Right, rewind now. Rewind just a little bit. Keep your pressure on like you're still trying to go. That's all the play I need. I know, yes, she's like, I don't want to do it. It's going to make my face fall on the floor. Right. <laughs> So once I'm in this spot, I need the rotation. So we're looking at flipping the truck. You see how we're in the neutral position here? The knees are both going to, like, they're both in the same spot. Whoever makes the rotation first will win. Luckily, she just fell, and I'm basically standing here. So it's over. Say what? 
She did. Well, she's probably gonna flip the truck on me at that point. <laughs> So, um, half guard first. Half? No, just, yeah, just the half guard first. No. Right there. Right, and once you get about here, you don't have to worry about fighting it anymore. Just keep them off your temple. She's gonna have to change. Bring her to you right there. And now as she goes to the top, She'll fall right into an ashy position. 